A match over 18 holes between Brigitte Varengol, one of Europe's outstanding amateur players, three times winner of the French Ladies Closed Championship, and twice French Ladies Open Champion. And Mickey Wright, top-ranking American professional, only woman ever to win the Ladies PGA Open and Title Holders Tournaments in the same year. Of the French Golf Federation for charities of their choosing. Uh, Miss Wright, of course, is a golf professional. She'll receive $3,000 if she wins here today, $2,500 in case of a tie, and $2,000 should she finish second. But Jean Mickey Wright is uh, sure no stranger to you. You've seen her play many times, and she has a great swing, hasn't she? She sure has. You know, one of the things that impresses me about Mickey's swing is the top of the swing. You know, she's a long hitter, but she doesn't apply the power up on top. And that's the reason why a long hitter is so straight these days. Now, you've never... The first hole here at Estoril is a par four of 383 yards. Rather difficult as opening holes go. It plays to a yawning fairway that's dogleg slightly on the left by trees 240 yards up. The opening of the green is narrowed to about 25 yards across by a solitary umbrella pine tree and that bunker on the right. You play to a deep green that's guarded on the left by another bunker and by trees and rough behind. Here is Miss Mickey Wright of the United States of America playing out of the Oak Cliff Country Club, Dallas, Texas, a native of San Diego, California. That city's produced some pretty good golfers in addition to Miss Wright. Uh, Gene Lipper, Bill Casper, Phil Rogers all come immediately to mind. You can't hit the ball any better than that. She has hit it dead straight away down the fairway. A slight right to left draw, and she has just split the first fairway here at Estoril. A big tee shot. Here's Miss Mickey Wright, who split the fairway here on the first hole 250 yards from the tee. She has uh, an eight, possibly a nine iron. And again, I imagine she'll try to hit it short. The trouble here is behind the green. Mickey starts it out to the right, is drawing it in, it is coming on directly on line with the pin, takes a big hop, and runs up very close to the hole, just short and a little bit left, the honey. Mickey continued with the honor on the fifth, an uphill par five of 494 yards. Taking advantage of a following wind, she belted a typical Mickey Wright drive, which finished 260 yards up the fairway in excellent position, short. With her tremendous length, plus the following wind, Miss Wright had a good chance to get home in two. She hit a soaring forward, which struck in front of the two-level green, bounded completely through it, and finished in a shallow bunker to the rear. The following wind increased to gale proportions on the elevated tee of the 14th, the 399-yard par four, which doglegs to the left. Miss Wright really unloaded on her drive. The combination of the small ball, the gusty wind, and Mickey's natural length propel the ball an almost unbelievable 310 yards straight down the middle. Now let's join Gene and Mickey Wright for a tip on technique. How can the girls watching at home get that extra yardage off the tee? Well, Gene, probably the most helpful tip I can give the lady golfers is to work on widening their arc away from the ball. A big arc to the golf swing allows you time to develop maximum club head speed through the ball. You'll notice I place a tee in the ground some 10 to 12 inches behind the ball at a point on the intended line of flight. If in swinging the club away from the ball, I knock the tee down, it will ensure my keeping the club head long, low, and wide away from the ball. With this wide start, you're automatically assured of making the biggest arc possible to the golf swing. The wide arc has allowed me to get the most of my weight on my right foot at the top of the swing. From this position, you can get maximum thrust into the ball, thus maximum distance. 